In this chapter, let's look at some of the things that we can do to manipulate an image while we still maintain it within the library module. Now, I am in Infinite Skills underscore 2 catalog. If you're not there, no big deal. You could probably find it by going up to the word File and going down to Open Recent, and you should see it in that list if you've used it, and we have. If you don't, it's possible, anything's possible. You can go to the word Open Catalog and play Where's Waldo to find it. Either way, that's where we are. Now we have a lot of images. This is what I want you to do. Press Control A on your keyboard. Now it's Command A on a Mac, or you can go to the word Edit and actually say Select All, right there. Now open up, if it's not already open, the Quick Develop right here by clicking this button, and you will see a Reset All button here, and click it with everything selected. Now what that means is, all the things that we have done to these images in previous lessons to play around, they've all been reset back to what they were when we first brought them in. Total non-destructive editing, love that. Let's come over here and choose one to work with. Doesn't really matter since we're, well, just playing around, but I'm going to choose this one right here. Now I'm going to come down here and put it into loop mode so I can see it better. You don't have to be here, but it makes sense. And the other thing is I want it bigger still. I don't plan on doing much of anything over here, so I don't need this area. So I'm going to click this little triangle button right here and collapse that area out. There we go. Now I got a bigger image. Don't forget, if you press the letter I on your keyboard, that's for information. It'll tell you what it is, when it was taken, and how big it is. Okay, so we don't need that up right now. We're looking over here. The first area is saved presets. Now you might not have those opened up. They might be collapsed like this. If it's collapsed, you only have one thing, default settings. But if you open it up, you do have other things. Now in default settings, you have all this different stuff. If you go into the develop module, you've got so much more stuff here. You've got zillions of things that you can work with. So the question might be, and it's a very valid question, is why would I do something in the library when I've got so much more control over it in develop? Now, I can answer that kind of in two ways for you. Number one, why not? I don't know if that's really a valid answer, but think of it this way. When you're working on an image, if what you need to do to the image can be found directly in the library, why would you go to develop to do it when you can do it right here? Okay, so why not? The other reason is how they both work. The library is more of an accumulative kind of thing when you make changes. The develop module is more absolute with numbers. Either one has their advantage, okay? So you decide which one you want to use. We're in library right now. You can start out in the library, make changes, and then finish them up and develop if you want to, but we'll talk about that later. In saved preset, over here you have default settings. So if I go in and say, hmm, I'll tell you what, let me go into my black and whites here and let's do a black and white contrast, high contrast. Then I come back over here again and say, well, you know what, if I go into generals, I got something called punch. I wonder what that does. And I click punch and see what it did. It did both. It accumulates them. So we have a black and white image with punch or anything else we're going to add into it. Now I love this button down here, reset. Let's take it back to the way it was. You have two other options under saved presets, and that's crop ratio and treatment. Under crop ratio, you can go original here and change into a predefined crop. You can even enter your own custom ones down here if you want to. Aspect ratio of, say, 3 by 4. You can change it to anything that you want. And, of course, anytime you want to back back out of this again, you can click reset all. The other one is treatment. Now, as a writer, the word treatment has a different meaning. A treatment to an author is when you go to a publisher and pitch your book. You're giving that author a treatment. In Lightroom, treatment means do you want to treat it as a color or a black and white? That's all that is. You want to do that? Go ahead and do it. Let's leave it back at color. Now, I'm going to collapse this area down. Let's go ahead and hit reset, get everything back the way it was. The next area is white balance. And if we open it up here, you've got as shot. You say, well, Andy, this picture was probably taken on a sunny day. I can kind of tell that unless you were in some kind of studio somewhere. And no, you're right. It was taken on a sunny day, which would be daylight. And if I come down here and click daylight, it will be more than glad to switch it into the color scheme if it were in daylight. So if you know how it was shot, it's not too bad to have that. 
Let me go ahead and put that back as as shot. Over here, you have temperature and tint, but notice something. The four buttons you have, all of these have these four. These work slower than these. I call these forward and reverse, fast forward and fast reverse. If I click this one right here for temperature, I go warmer. If I go to this one, I get cooler. If I click this one, I get warmer faster. So if I click that one, you can see it begins adding some reds and oranges, which makes it to me warmer. If I click this one on the other side, it begins making it cooler by adding blues. Again, don't like it? Click Reset. Tints will take you from greens to magentas. So again, if I use the big fast buttons right here, you can change it this way or you can change it that way. And let's go ahead and click Reset again. And let's collapse this one out. The last area is tone control. Okay, you do have an auto tone button, but I've never been a fan of doing anything with auto, although it is getting better, I will admit. But if I click this, it's going to decide the tonal values automatically, and I just don't like that. So I'm going to click Reset. You have Exposure. Let's open this one up, too. You have Exposure and Contrast, Highlights and Shadows, Whites and Blacks, and my two favorite ones, Clarity and Vibrance. Now, Exposure is not a linear adjustment like making it lighter or darker. Think of it this way. It tries to look at the image in a nonlinear way as if you changed the exposure on the camera when you took the photograph. So it's a little bit more than just making it lighter or darker. But if you want to change the exposure, the inside ones are one-third of an f-stop and the outside ones are one full stop. In other words, it's faster. Let's reset that one too. Contrast does what you probably think it would do. It increases the overall visual contrast of the image by sharpening up edges, reducing the amount of blur on those edges. And so if we go this way with it, we can really increase the contrast or go the other way. Now, going too far, I think, with any of these does create almost a sense of being washed out. So you can't go really too far. And let me show you something. Let me say we do contrast, and let's go the other way. And we go into exposure and maybe do something like that. We like what we did with contrast, but we don't like what we did with exposure. But if I click reset all, basically what's going to happen is they're both going back to their default values. I just want to reset exposure but I don't remember how many clicks I made. I just want to set it back to normal. If you touch the word exposure and click, it will reset exposure, but it won't reset anything else. If you come down here, it resets everything. Exposure and contrast. Highlights deals with the mid-tone to the highlight areas, but not the whites. Shadows deals with the mid-tone going toward the darks, but not the blacks. And then you have whites and blacks down here for those two areas. So if you want to work on your highlights, dull them down or pump them up. Notice it's not really impacting things down here. Shadows would do the others. It would allow you to impact those darker areas without impacting the highlights. And then whites and blacks do the same thing, except they work with clipping. They clip whites and blacks off of the image. These are my two favorites. I really do like these. Clarity is a focus thing, but it's not like a blur. It's more intelligent. If I begin moving it down, Notice what it's doing. It's softening the image, but look at the hard edges. It's leaving the edges. So it creates a very soft look to an image. It's kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and say reset all. Vibrance, don't confuse vibrance with saturation. When you desaturate an image, you are equalizing the red, the green, and the blue channels, which produces a shade of gray. Vibrance is like intensity. Maybe that's a good word to use. It's reducing or increasing the intensity of the colors, but not eliminating them. And that's what saturation does. So if I move vibrance down all the way down, let me take it all the way down here. You can see that's as low as it goes, but there is still some color there. If that were saturation, it would be in shades of gray. Now, of course, we can go the other way. Let me reset and go the other way. Anything that we have done, don't forget, this resets everything. Clicking on the names themselves, reset only that one feature. And the really cool thing is, of course, anything that we have done is non-destructive. Even if we come back six months from today, I can come down here and click this button and reset everything as if I had never done anything to this image. These are the features that we have for manipulating an image in the library module. Now, we do have other things here. We've got keywords and all kinds of things that we will talk about in other chapters. But if you need to do a down and dirty manipulation of an image, you can do a lot of these things right in library and then move to develop and carry it further.